developing story that is tugging at a lot of heartstrings. In the morning, it will be one week since a beloved teacher went missing in Prince George's County. Family members say Mariam Torre Silla went for a walk in her neighborhood near Scrom Hills Park and never came home. Tonight, dozens showed up in that park to bring attention to the effort to find her, and our Casey Nolan was there too. Students, parents know her as Miss Silla and this park is the last place she was seen. Friday night, dozens of people showed up to make sure people know what she looks like and just how much they want to see her again. I was really hoping that we didn't even have to have this vigil today. I was really hoping that they would have found her today. Candles to symbolize their hope, flyers to make her name known. It literally rocked my world and it's been very difficult this week trying to focus on just regular life. Last Saturday night, police say Miriam Torre Silla was going for a walk in her Greenbelt neighborhood here near Shrom Hills Park. Typically, her friends say she would have been home in time for evening prayers, but this time she did not come home and her adult son and friends reported her missing. This was a really good woman um, who really strived for a life of righteousness. You know, we're still trying to get our heads around it. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's real. She was always, um, er, she is always really good with kids. Miss Silla is a teacher at the Dora Kennedy French Immersion School. Originally from Ivory Coast, friends say aside from her son, most of her close relatives live overseas. I'm just really glad that the parents have come together to advocate for her. Friday, Greenbelt police put to rest speculation that an unidentified body found near the Capitol Beltway in Forestville might be Scylla. But we continue to keep this open as a missing persons investigation and we'll do everything in our power to bring her back safely to her family and her friends. She's still out there somewhere, you know, so we've got to find her. We have to do what we have to do. Casey Nolan, WUSA 9.